I'd like to acknowledge that I'm currently working on Gadigal land of the Eora Nation. I'd like to pay my respects to the elders past and present. It always was, always will be Aboriginal land. My name is Lisa Campbell. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, and I am very honoured to be interviewing Maggie McKenna. Hello. Hello. Maggie, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Maggie or Max McKenna. My pronouns are they, them, and yeah, I'm a Melbourne nam based actor. Wonderful. Are you there today? Yes, I just got back actually from New York. Wonderful. How yeah. was that? It was amazing. I mean, I'm still jet lagged, but uh, <laughs> it was such a great experience being back there after the last two years and seeing the city kind of thrive again. It was awesome. Uh, are you allowed to tell us what you were working on there? Yes. So I was doing the kind of Broadway lab for Muriel's Wedding, the musical, which I previously did in Sydney about nearly five years ago which is crazy um but yeah i got to revisit that role and um perform for some broadway producers which was really cool how wonderful congratulations Thanks. so in those five years from when you burst onto the scene as muriel to now i'm revisiting it what has changed for you as a performer and what do you think has changed in the industry I think there's been massive change. I mean, there's been a global pandemic. I've come out as gay and trans since. <laughs> um, I've done jobs kind of in the States and here and um, seen the evolution of uh, more diverse casting and more diverse shows. I, I feel like I've been a part of the industry at a massive time of change. And that's been really cool to have started and seen how much we've evolved. Wonderful. What work do you think we still need to do? Oh, we need to do so much work. Absolutely. <laughs> so much work. I think um, I would love to see more diverse writers and creators getting their work put up so then the casting will, uh, you know, just fall into place as opposed to feeling maybe a bit tokenistic at times. Mm -hmm. I think that's where we need to be heading, but it has been nice to see the growth and little bits of change in the past five years. Absolutely. Now, I've been fortunate enough to read some of the work that you've written. Uh, is this something that you're going to continue to pursue? Yes, definitely. Um, I'm writing a show at the moment and you know it takes many years and many um many drafts so it's still very much a work in progress but I've got a few different projects now that I'm working on and um as I get to know myself more I feel like I get to know myself as a writer more and that's really cool and hopefully you'll be seeing some stuff of mine eventually. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. So just going back to your um, your performing side, um, for you, what has been the most exciting role that you've had so far? I what project you're most proud of, say? Yeah, I, I, I think it will always be Muriel because one it was my first show two i got to originate a role in australia which is really rare and get to be on a cast recording i i, I just got to create a lot in that project and it's really cool to revisit it because i'm like oh there's so much that you know child me brought to this that now i can keep evolving and keep changing and growing and I, I, I'm just always proud of that as an Australian piece and being a part of an original cast. I, I, I will always be so grateful for that job. Wonderful. So when you did the lab in New York, mm -hmm. uh, how much uh, did it develop from the original Australian cast? It's changed a lot in really positive ways i think and um really cool to have american actors 
in the show who can bring a really fresh perspective of not knowing the movie as well as we do. Yeah. So the the takes on the characters were different and I got to see then the writers be inspired by these new actors. It, it was just a beautiful, beautiful process. How wonderful. Yeah. Um, so I reached out to a couple of people who I know have worked with you mm-hmm. uh, and said that I was going to talk to you today. And uh, Kate miller Heidke oh. uh, said oh. some words about why you are spectacular. Oh. And so she said that they have such an open face, the most radiant smile. You just want them to succeed. <laughs> They're a natural clown. They can ring comedy from anything. <laughs> and they have the star factor, an X factor. When they're on stage, you cannot take your eyes off them. Um, which oh, is... That's so kind. <laughs> no, it's true. <laughs> I know that we all felt that as soon as you came on stage as Muriel. I mean, it was just extraordinary. And we've been so fortunate to see you as Alison and as Joe and... Uh, and I can't wait to hopefully see you again in other things. So yeah. what is next for you? Next for me, um, I'm really trying to focus on film and TV and trying to develop my uh, acting in that sense and coaching and kind of taking a little step back from music theatre because that's just been my life for the past five years and as much as I love it it is eight shows a week and it is all consuming and when I'm in a show I give everything to that show and I'm just ready to take some time to like see the other avenues of this industry and really work towards creating a kind of um more wide variety in my career that's wonderful. Yeah. I can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time, Mags. We really Thank appreciate you so it. Much. Appreciate it.